Good morning. This is how you. Oof. This is how you stay decently lean while eating the way you do. So eat like a king, but stay shredded like a Greek god. Welcome to the channel. All right, I'm gonna quickly rant about how I was just recently out on the west coast, no scale, out of my element, and usually I eat really good, so. How we eat good. This is how you stay relatively lean while eating good. It's a lifestyle. It's habit changing. It's not bodybuilding, tracking your macros, dialing it into a T every day because that's unsustainable. A lot of the bodybuilders, as you can see, they'll eat really clean, lose a lot of weight, and then two weeks later, they'll gain like 20 pounds after the show. So they're super shredded, two weeks later they're 20 pounds up, loaded. For the regular person, you don't wanna be doing that. I myself, I like to shred down in the summer. I like to do a mini bulk, but year round, I'm always lean. Even when I got to my leanest a couple years ago, and even this year, like I got decently lean, I never rebounded hard. So this is how you continue to eat like a king while staying shredded like a Greek god or just a very fit individual. So first things first is always intermittent fast. I've brought this up so many times in the past, but it keeps your blood sugar levels regulated when you fast. And then when you break your fast, break it with some lean protein and vegetables, no sugar. So that's always gonna keep you in a constant flow of Basically not being hungry, even when you eat. Because if you're always eating, you're always gonna get hungry, so st stay to intermittent fasting, drink a lot of water, drink black coffee. And even when you're dieting down, I find that if I stick to fasting, even when I'm off my diet, just living life, you know, eating, uh, drinking alcohol, partying, I'm still relatively lean because my back to the habits that I formed of pushing that meal back have stayed with me even post diet the next thing you got to do prioritize your strength training over cardio so I like to strength train almost every day I take one day rest a week now I've played with the schedule of working out three times a week and doing more cardio so I've done the everyday strength training three times a week strength training I've even done two times a week when I was training a lot of Muay Thai but I found that prioritizing your strength training you're really gonna get good benefits of just increasing your muscle mass and the more muscle mass you have the higher your stationary metabolism is basically if you're just sitting you're gonna burn more energy um, without doing too too much activity so prioritize at least an hour of strength training every day right now I'm on a push pull leg uh, workout routine push pull leg and some abs and then on Sunday do your cardio and the that's the third point. So second point, prioritize strength training. And the third point is incorporate cardio into your everyday routine. So make that a habit. Even though I, I prioritize the strength training, that's a bulk of my workout. Do 10 to 15 minutes of high intensity cardio to warm up and then maybe 10 minutes to cool down. So you're working out about an hour, 20 minutes a day. I usually do 10, 45 and then 10 just because I'm super busy. But if you do that in your workouts, you're gonna stay relatively lean. Coupled with fasting, you're not gonna get cravings. And the last point I want to make, I guess, is try and get 10,000 steps in a day. So you can try and fit that step count into your cardio, or you can do it after you work out. So 10,000 steps a day will keep you relatively lean. Glares on my glasses. I'm posting this regardless. So those are the principles. When you go to eat, be conscious of what you're ordering and 
yeah, you'll stay relatively lean if you follow these principles. So hit that subscribe button. My name is Dylan. I make fitness. I make business. I make motivational content. I'm a mechanical engineer and entrepreneur. And I would say I'm an athlete still. I still train every day. So stay tuned for the channel. And I appreciate you guys for supporting. We're almost at 1,000 subs. Thank you guys. Off to the office.